a switch and the room comes alive with light. Controlled warmth and comfort, good living. The electric utilities of America furnish the power, electricity, which supplies or controls many of the conveniences and necessities that we take for granted in our everyday life. They deliver the power that makes the home a more enjoyable place to live, the power that helps supply many of life's little luxuries. And in the shop as well, the electric utilities provide dependable service at the time it's needed, at the place it's needed, to be put to work to speed and lighten the task of making more goods for all at less cost. That this power is reliable is not just chance. Electric utility executives have planned carefully for the effective generation and distribution of electric energy. And their distribution engineers have used great skill and resourcefulness to develop an unparalleled continuity of service at reasonable cost. Good service, however, means that power lines must be protected from storms and wind, from destructive sleet and snow. But sometimes nature wins temporarily and leaves in her wake a toll of damage and interrupted service. Extra hours of labor under the worst possible conditions. And limbs and trees down upon power lines. During clear weather, trees must be trimmed to protect power lines during storms and from abrasive tree damage at all times. The utility to protect its service must trim trees along its right of way at best an expensive and reoccurring job, and as every utility man, lineman, and tree trimmer knows, from contact with the public, tree trimming is not always the best form of customer relation. Methods to combat tree trimming and storm damages must be included in each utility's plans. These problems face one electric utility, a utility that serves this area of industrial cities alive with the activity of commerce, of small towns, center of farming regions, a region with famed colleges and historical sites that are visited annually by thousands, an area of mountains where lovely summer homes rest close to streams famous for their trout. This company's solution to tree trimming and storm damages was pre-assembled aerial cable. Developed by General Electric engineers, it is completely packaged at the factory with messenger and conductors as a unit. This cable is so well constructed that it can be run through extremely heavy foliage without damage. Installed pre-assembled aerial cable is so attractive that it may substitute for more expensive underground installations. This utility's crew installs pre-assembled aerial cable easily. First, they attach pulleys to the pole and pass the cable over these. Then they start to pull the cable. The strength of pre-assembled aerial cable is demonstrated here as it is hauled smoothly over the long space between the poles that span a swift mountain stream. And the cable strength is really needed when extremely sharp bends can't be avoided by the installation crew. When work is delayed at the end of the day, or for any other reason, temporary dead ending holds pre-assembled aerial cable firmly until the crew is ready to proceed. Next day, when more cable is needed, it is added by simply splicing messengers. The Johnny ball is inserted in one messenger, and the ball is held firmly in place by a set of clamps. The other messenger is inserted in this loop. And this messenger, too, is clamped into place. Then the cable ends are laid alongside the messenger and bound to it by rewinding the copper binding tape. The messenger splice is now completed, and the installation of pre-assembled aerial cable can proceed without delay. This splice of the messenger holds the two sections together, allows the cable to come to its natural position of rest before the insulated conductors are spliced, and allows the work to progress until the splicer is ready to make a cable splice. 
Notice that this cable splice requires no special skills. The splicing of pre-assembled aerial cable is similar to the splicing of any rubber type cable. The first step of the splice is the separation of the phases. And one phase at a time, the insulation is stripped from the conductor. The ends are then polished with abrasive cloth so that a clean surface will be present for the splice. And the splicer fits the ends into the correct size sleeve and clamps the sleeve tight on the ends of the conductors by using a pedal operated press. This press eliminates all the nuisances of soldering. Rubber cement is applied and allowed to dry until tacky. Over this, rubber insulating tape is wrapped, followed by a layer of copper shielding braid. Then to complete the task, friction tape is wound over all. Joints on the other two faces are staggered and the same procedure is followed with each phase. When all phases have been properly joined and coated with a weather-resistant paint, the cable splice is physically and electrically sound and inconspicuous in appearance. For support, messenger rings with lead saddle inserts are hung from the messenger. These cable splices are so strong that splice failures in this area average less than one per 100-mile year. This electric utility, in its wide use of aerial cable, has successfully made all types of installations and connections with pre-assembled aerial cable. Such unobtrusive installations as this in the backyard, this service road, this tap of single-phase aerial cable from a three-phase line of pre-assembled aerial cable and this single phase tap to a distribution transformer. Here, pre-assembled aerial cable is dead-ended at open wire line. Note that in this dead ending, fuse cutouts and lightning arresters are used for protection and increased efficiency. This electric utility, to completely service its area, has made many types of installations using over a million feet of pre-assembled aerial cable. To install pre-assembled aerial cable, the electric utilities do not need men experienced in handling it. Installation of this cable is a job that is readily learned. Here, for example, is a crew that at this time had had no previous experience in installing pre-assembled aerial cable. These pictures were made on the very first day that they ever worked on this type cable. First the crew hauls the pulleys into position to guide the run of the cable. Then, the lead rope that already has been threaded along the route is attached securely to the messenger. This rope has an important role in the installation of pre-assembled aerial cable because it is the guide for the cable. And as the rope is hauled through the run, the cable follows the path of the rope. Passing through foliage, the rope tells the crew whether the cable can pass or not, because wherever the rope can safely pass, the cable can go as well. Installation is not a job that requires a large crew. Only a few men stationed at vantage points to check on the run and keep the cable running free. That's all that's needed. The winch of the company truck takes in the rope, thus pulling the cable into position. There is a type of pre-assembled aerial cable for every need. A cable with copper tape binding the copper clad steel messenger to the conductors. With a geoprene jacket as the outer layer of each phase. This jacket covers the super coronal insulation, a butyl based product that surpasses natural rubber as insulation because it is inherently ozone resistant. Below this and well protected, is the coated copper conductor. With a geoprene jacket, pre-assembled aerial cable is available in the single phase type, the two phase type, or in the three phase type where heavier loads are carried. 
On the three-phase type, raised ridges are placed on the phases so that each phase may be readily identified. For all voltages above 5 kV, shielded cable is recommended. This comes in the three-phase type with embossed numerals on each phase so that the correct phase may be easily spotted. Shielded cable is also available in single phase. The reverse twist is another outstanding development in pre-assembled aerial cable. Here it is pictured with a geoprene jacket. This reverse twist provides extra slack cable and facilitates hot tapping. The cable may be tapped at the time of installation without cutting the conductors or performing any work on the messenger. Reverse twist also furnishes the extra length necessary for special pole top installations. Pre-assembled aerial cable is needed wherever tree trimming costs are excessive. Where storms are frequent, and storm damage is costly. Pre-assembled aerial cable is useful where long spans are encountered and the construction must be sturdy to support these long lengths of cable. Pre-assembled aerial cable is needed where tall trees would otherwise force the use of high poles. Electric utilities in all sections of the country are using pre-assembled aerial cable to aid them to continue their fine servicing of the communities of America. Pre-assembled aerial cable helps these utilities to maintain their proud service records that brings the faithful servant electricity to the homes of the land. Electricity for relaxation and pleasure of all persons of all ages. Electric utilities have maintained such a high standard of faithful electric service that the public has come to expect electricity to be always right at their fingertips, ready to serve them.